Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to the Stock Swiss Show Market Review of the SPY. I did do a video yesterday of the SPY, and I said that the market could do any one of a number of things today in the gap. <clears throat> I said it could gap up, and I thought it was going to gap up, actually. I thought the market was going to gap up or neutral, and then I got up this morning and the market gapped down. But in the video yesterday, I said even if the market gaps down, it's not going to be bearish. And look at the market today. It's not doing anything bearish. Now, when I saw the market this morning, I thought, fine, if the market wants to come in a little bit before it rallies and gets bought, fine, 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 fine. But in the video yesterday, I also said people are waiting for the market to come in to buy, to pull in as a nice pull in and a pivot and support. And that's actually not the way that I buy stuff. And it is not what the market I said is probably going to do. And it could have, it could have done that. It could have given a pull in for people to buy and a support in here, but it is not doing it. It is not doing it. And it's clear now that it is not going to do it. I knew the market would continue to get bought here sooner rather than later. This was a great call that I made in the market. Now, how was I able to do this? Because I read the gaps. I read the power money in the gaps. Now, I gave a big lecture, so much so that I'm losing my voice. I was so excited talking today in the room after seeing this market. I <coughs> kept looking at it, looking at today, and I saw very, very early that the market was a buy today. <clears throat> in the first five to 15 minutes of trading, you can tell a lot about what something's going to do. And I'm very good at reading price action. So I saw that the market was actually a buy, like right in here today. Now, I did not know at 9.34 this morning that the market was going to make a new high today. It is going to do that. I did know the market would make a new high before Thanksgiving. I didn't know exactly when I saw the market was along today that it would do it today, which it's power trending. I thought we might have a 15-minute pull-in. We haven't even had that all day. The market has one, two, three, four, five, five solid green bars in a 15-minute chart, one little red one, and another solid green. Markets are buy today even if it pulls in anywhere, anywhere at all, the market, because it's power trending all day. But I don't know if it pulls in anywhere to be bought. So if you didn't buy the market aggressively out of the gate, then you didn't get long this today. You actually could have made money even buying this five minute. <coughs> and people made an attempt to short this. So here's actually how this played out today. Everyone is a short bias for the market that I know, but me, which is interesting because I'm a short girl. I like to short stocks. I like to short. I'm the short lady, okay? Uh, I'm a girl that likes to short, but I'm not short in the market. The market rallied up. Here's where people wanted to sell this market and did make an attempt to sell it on the five-minute chart into the reversal time into 10 o'clock on the five-minute. It failed immediately. It failed immediately. <clears throat> okay, it went nowhere. I actually set up as a buy, set up to rally. Okay. So this could have been bought. This market will get an attempt. People are still going to try to short this. Can you believe that, though? Like, people are still going to try to short this. Might, maybe right even in here around 12 o'clock, 11.45. On the 15-minute, people will make an attempt to short a reversal short in the market today. It's, like, so hilarious that anyone would even consider shorting this market. But as I said also in the video yesterday, and I've been saying the videos, the shorts are the people that think the market's going to crash, that want to short the market, that are desperate for any type of momentum, which the momentum is long, okay? It's bullish. It's not short. Anyways, people will still going to keep trying to short this market this year, 2014. I don't think until 2015 the shorts are going to give it up. Like, stop trying to short. When that, you're going to, I'm going to know when that happens because when trainers stop making an attempt to short this market, that's when the market will go to the insane number that I've been talking about. Like some number that no one even has out there yet. Okay? Which the numbers are coming to me. I'm not going to detail them right now. <clears throat> I do have some of those in the swing trade letter. But <clears throat> when... The short stop shorting this market is when it's going to go and go and go because no one will be doing anything at all short and everyone will be in it long and then people will buy more. And that is what's going to make the lift be insane. And here's this market going right now. Here, new high in the market over 206. Well, it never hit 206. It was like 205.90-ish. <clears throat> now, 
The reason I was all excited talking in the room, though, this morning, and I'm losing my voice, is because of the fact that this is playing out in the way that I called it here so well, that it is... It's exciting, okay? This is exciting. Now, I'm not in the market long today, okay? I'm not in the market long today, but I call this to happen, and it's exciting to me because I trade gas. And it's exciting for anyone that has ever done my class or anyone that is going to do my class. What I know about how to read gas is exciting because it is so good. It is such a high-level quality of information to read power money that it's exciting because no one else is calling things like this. And that gives people that have done my class, that have taken the gap class, that know how to read gaps like me, should give everyone that's done the class a very high level of conviction. Look at this market. Look at this. A high level of conviction to train. Train with the information that I taught everyone that's ever been my student. Okay? This gives me conviction. When I see the market doing what it's doing, when I call something like this, even though I'm not in the market long here today, I'm calling this and call this to happen in advance. And it's because of the way that I know how to read gaps. So this gives me a high level of conviction to continue to trade my system, to continue to trade the market, to continue to trade, to go long in bullish gaps, to do short bearish gaps, to do any gap that is a highly rated qualified golden gap. Okay. What I have figured out on my own in my gap rating system reads institutional money. And there, this is this, I have always had conviction in what I figured out because I've been doing this now for so long and doing it well. But this call that I made here in this market, which was a 360 degree opposite of everything that anyone else in the planet has called, is, has given me such a high level of conviction for myself to trade and continue to teach and to do something else with my trading that I, words, I cannot even talk. I'm so excited to see this played out this way because it reads into institutional power. Not every gap is a reflection of institutional power. Only quality, highly rated gaps. Only quality, highly rated gaps. And if you don't know how to look for them and don't know how to read them, then you can't see where the money is going. And you can't get the entry to get the aggressive entry, to get in them, to get the move, to get paid, or you get out of something or you do the opposite. Now, one of the reasons that I was talking today in the room and getting excited is because <clears throat> someone had emailed me yesterday that they day trade and they just look to make money every day they trade. They do a lot of different strategies. They do they go long, they go short, they do different things every day. They just get up every day. They just want to make money. They don't care how they make it. I don't trade like that. Now, I'm still a day trader, but I don't think like that and I don't trade like that. That might mean that some days I don't trade because I'm only looking for my one quality gap. It also might mean that some days I do a gap that doesn't work and I have to take a loss. Could I do something else on the day to make that money back or make profit in the day in a different type of strategy or a different type of setup? Yes. Do I do that? No, I don't. I just don't, okay? Because in the long run, I'm better off because I'm trading and thinking like a professional. Prime example of the call I made here in this market. If the, the reason that so many day traders are not successful is because they're too short-sighted. They're too short-sighted. Swing traders are too short-sighted. Many people that attempt to trade the market as individuals are too short-sighted. Short-sighted on their goals, short-sighted on their learning process, short-sighted on what they even want to accomplish with what they even could do with this. Do you realize that if you could trade the market well, you could become wealthy? So if you don't trade the market well, you're going to lose. If you learn how to trade the market well, no matter what, day trading or core trading or swing trading or investing, you could you have the possibility of becoming extremely rich, okay? Now, many people don't accomplish that because they're too short-sighted, and they don't really want to learn what to do. They just want to take a million different trades all over the place in different kinds of strategies with varying degrees of size. Most of it is usually not large size. But I think the only way to take sizable advanced size in something is to have conviction in it. But there are people out there that are that are actually trading size and they're they're taking a million trades a day with poor quality that have money. Okay. That isn't the right thing to do. So what I was talking about in the room was that I don't think like that person emailed me. I think like a person that is doing something for the longer term to be a professional to have a high level of conviction. And some days that I may need to take a loss or not trade to make any money. 
I'm not living each day like it's my last day that I'm living on the planet. I'm living like this is my life and I'm living the life every day that I'm living as a trader and I'm doing what I need to do every day for the longevity of my trading life and my life on this planet for wealth, okay? So one of the things that I was talking about today that's very, very important and why I'm able to see things like this market ahead of time before it does it is the gaps but also the way that I understand how my brain works and I program my mind. I get up every morning and I see my gaps and I rate them, but I don't really need to anymore. Now, I still do, but I don't need to because I can see things that they're going to work or not work without rating them because I program my brain. Now, the reason that it's good to focus on one strategy like I do in my gaps is because I'm programming, I program my brain and you can do the same thing. And this is what I was talking about in the room today that I want people that learn from me that I want them to get, okay? The way that your brain works is that you're programming it, okay? And if you continue to program your brain to read things correctly, it's going to help you alleviate the risk when you train, and it will help you give you conviction, and it will help you make you the right choices, and you won't second-guess yourself all the time. And your brain also will see right away that it's going to work, and it's because it's programmed. I have programmed my brain now trading gaps for six years. I program my brain. I, I there's an imprint that is in my brain now for these things to be able to see this. I am telling you. I, first of all, I said, the mar I said this why I was going to say 205. I said 205 that was in the swing trade letter. <clears throat> okay, so it hit on through that number the other day. Where did I get that number? Where did I get the number? The number was not, that wasn't on the chart. I didn't get it from based on technical analysis and previous price action in the past because there was no previous price action in the past. The SPY never traded at 205 in its life before. Any of the numbers I've given for the market that it is hit on here and through in the SPY here at the new highs, they're not in the chart. Where am I getting them? How can I possibly say that? The SPY will go to 210 and 212. Where am I getting the number? It's not here. I can't be reading past price action to determine that it's going to go there because it never hit that number before. Well, how am I... Me, Melissa Armo, the Stocks with Shell LLC, able to predict that something's going to do something before it does it that far in advance. Some of the numbers I've given for some of the trades I've called, not just stocks, but also the market, things that have never even happened. How am I able to do that? How? It's a combination of gas, but it's really because I have programmed my mind, my very capable mind, okay, to be able to read this, to see it, to say it. And that is why if you come and you learn from me and you take the class, I am programming your mind to learn that information. And I let people retake it. And if you retake the class, it helps to reprogram your mind again. And that's why I let people retake it, because I want to turn people into good traders, because that's what would be, make a successful business. And that's one reason my business is successful. And if you trade with me in the room, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and you're in the room with me, guess what? I am programming your mind every day, calling the trades, talking about it, talking about the stuff I talked about this morning, talking about the gaps, talking about the market. If you listen to everything I say and you're in the room and you do the class, I am constantly, constantly imprinting in your brain to look at stuff like me, which helps you get it in your head, in your mind to trade well. So you must program your brain to do this. I feel very lucky and blessed that I've taught myself how to do this, and I actually program my own mind. No one else did it. I program my mind myself to see these things this way, to call it, to teach other people now. But for the people to come and learn from me, they have it easy because I am programming what you need to do through what I'm teaching in the class and the room. Whereas I had to figure it out myself and then teach myself how to do it and program myself. But I absolutely, that of shadow of doubt, was destined to train, destined to see this, and destined to see things very far in advance, like I've seen here with this market. But it all has to do with institutional money, institutional power, and it all comes back to the gap. But the way that your brain works as a human being is that you need to have a right focus for the long term to be profitable in the market, for long term wealth, for it to really be successful. If you are too short sighted as a trader, as a day trader, a swing trader, you will not make it. I can guarantee that you will not make it. And even if you are making money for a short period of time, or even a year or two, one day you'll do something that you shouldn't be doing because you don't know how to trade, and it'll blow up your account. I hear those stories all the time. Okay? So it is not something to be toyed with. 
Someone, the same person that emailed me the other day that the market was a failed breakout, which I said it wasn't. Um, I said I would never short this market. I wouldn't short this market. I would never, ever, 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 ever short this market. Look at the market today. It's solid, fat, green bar. This, there's no pattern here that anyone could have conceived to even play out to be a buy, except for the gaps. Like, this isn't anything here. Like, look at this. It's just the way the money is acting, like coming in. Says so this is money, 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 money. And I said this is new buying. This is new buying in the market. I said this weeks ago with the gas. I said this is new money flowing in the market. What do you think they're going to sell out of it right away? Is when it's brand new money coming in? No. But people will still want to short this because they missed the whole long. So. Getting back to what I was saying about the way your brain works as a human being, you have to sync yourself and your capabilities with what you're capable of as a person, as a human being with a mind, and understand how your brain works. And I do. I talk about the brain in the gap class. I talk about the mind in the wealth manifestation class. These are important things that help you become successful as a trader, and they actually are important. The things I say in those classes are important to help you be successful in anything that you do in life. I have studied the brain a lot. It's one of the reasons that I do very well with what I do, okay? And if you understand how your mind works, you will use it to your advantage to be successful, not only as a trader, but in anything that you do, okay? So it, it's just, you know, it's just very important for the people that have learned from me to have, even that aren't long this market right now, <clears throat> to understand what this means for what I've taught them, which I talked about in the room this morning. And for people that want to come to learn to me, you, you are never going to have contact with someone like me or the chance to learn from someone like me ever. So take it for what it's worth. I could right now today quit trading alone, stop the business, and start a hedge fund, and it would be immediately successful. And I never started out day trading for the purpose of doing anything like that, but I was destined to do it, or the stuff that I loved and stuck onto and was passionate about wouldn't have been what it is. So it just all comes full circle. It really, really does. <clears throat> and there was something else I was going to say too. The only way to be successful as an individual trader in the market is to read institutional positioning in stocks in the market. Not all gaps can be played in the direction of the gap. Not all gaps can be played for gap fills. You have to look at each gap, understand what is happening. That's the reason I created the rating system. You just use it, you read it, you rate it, and you go with it. And if it rates 20 points or more, you do it. And if it doesn't, you don't. Boom, that's it. I could not have simplified it more for people than I have, and for myself as well. But the longer the time goes on, the bigger calls I'm making for seeing things far in advance, and that is super duper, super califragilistic. I mean, I just have no words here. And here's where people are going to attempt to try to short this market in here. People are going to look at this as a double top to short into 206. At 1138, on a day the market is 55,000 green bars on the one minute chart and six fat ones on the 15 minute. Because people didn't go long this market this morning. Again, long-term picture, long-term picture. Long-term doesn't mean it has to take you long time to make money. That's not what long-term picture is. Bigger picture long-term doesn't mean you have to wait a long time to be profitable as a day trader if you learn the system. Long-term bigger picture means your focus is, is doing well and learning it. And you could make money faster than someone that's living in the moment anyways because you're living in the moment of what you're doing for seeing the opportunity to know which direction to trade the thing that you're trading in the first place. And you'll end up being able to risk more size faster to make more money and have more conviction to hold the trades to the target if you learn what to do. Otherwise, you become a scalper, you chop around, you get eaten up with commissions of brokers. Nothing you do makes any sense. This makes sense. This is perfect. This is perfect. This is perfect. I 
I'm so passionate about gaps. I am so passionate about this market. I am so passionate about trading. I can't talk enough about it. I'm losing my voice. I love what I figured out. I feel so blessed with this today. This is going to be one of the biggest calls I have ever, ever, ever made. And it was almost impossible to see. But I saw it on a weekend, on a Saturday, on the day I decided that it actually, I actually decided on the day that I saw the market would do this to do a swing trade letter. I, I never really seriously gave any consideration to even doing a swing trade letter until the day I saw the market was going to do this. And I said, you know what? I have to do this now. I have to do it. I have to do it for the people that want the information. I have to do it. I have to do it to have it for myself, to even know that I put it out there in writing, the calls that I'm making that are following through. And I was actually motivated then to do a swing trade letter on the day I saw the market would do this on a Saturday. So here it is. I can keep talking all day long. Anyways, have a great day, everyone. If you're interested in the gap class this weekend, it's November 22nd and 23rd. If you really want to be successful as a trader and learn how to read institutional positioning in the U.S. stock market, in ETFs, the market gap, stocks, companies, everything that exists in the U.S. market, the class is this weekend, 9 to 5 Eastern Time. Email me at melissa at Have a great day, everyone.